Was that you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know who you came take up. no responsibility. All right, I'm not. Did someone raise your hand? Was that Tim? Yep. Yeah, it was Tim. Right, Tim. There you go. All right. yeah. Thank you for that, Tim. But I was like, that's why I was like, what, does it matter? Do we applaud or no? We hit it with bars of soap after. That's what's going to happen. As long as not shaving cream, though. Not shaving cream. He's already given that up. Morgan Webb, ladies and gentlemen. She's here. And we are chatting games. Uh, of course. The highly anticipated, and of course, if, you, if you've if you been listening to the web the last few days by many different polls, the most anticipated game of the year. Ever in the history of the yes, universe. in the history of ever, Halo Reach, the multiplayer beta, opened up uh, right. this last had, week for some of us. And... They've actually had a million users so far, a million unique people. So yeah, far, incredible. It out. Very large beta. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's been a few days. What do you think the general consensus is? Um, I think the general consensus is basically, if you liked Halo, <laughs> right. then you're going to like this. <laughs> right. Um, but, but basically, like this is not this huge departure from the general mechanics and everything mm -hmm. of Halo, which is going to be a really good thing for a lot of people. And then it's not going to interest, I think, a lot of people who I, maybe moved on to yeah. Modern Warfare Battlefield. I described it as, like, if this were, the, let's say, a PC game five to ten years ago, I'd be like, oh, this is a great mod for a game. And a lot of people got upset. They were like, this isn't a mod. This is a reimagining. And I'm like... No, dude, it's Halo with power-ups. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give it reimagining, but I think I'd give it a little more credit than a mod. They do have some cool power-ups in there. So what did, um, they, what did they add? What did they, have they improved? Well, okay, so first of all, they have, a, I would say, pretty good matchmaking. I was mm -hmm. in matches very quickly. Um, there's been a lot of hype around this thing where you can, you know, choose, like, do you want to be in a chatty group? Yeah, or do you want to be, I saw that. Like, do, yeah. you want, do you want people who play as lone wolves, or do you want to hang out with teabaggers only? Okay. See, the problem with that is most people aren't like, I'm an immature teabagger, loudmouth, <laughs> yeah, no, right? you know, teabag. <laughs> yeah, they are. They just don't have the presence of mind to label themselves as such you're, in the menu. Exactly. You're sort of relying on people to flag themselves right. as people that you don't want to play with. So um, it doesn't necessarily yeah. work I, as You know, well as I, like. I was excited for those features right. very much because I like very laid back games. Like Absolutely. I am not, I am not a preteen anymore. Uh, right. You know, physically yes, emotionally, <laughs> mentally no. So I want laid back games with people who aren't that chatty. And so I put the settings yeah. as that, and I felt like the games I was getting were the exact same games that I was getting before. But right. it's beta, so I can't fault it for that. Like maybe also, as it grows. They don't they don't really force the menu item on you. True. So true. I feel like some people are like, oh, I'm just gonna play Halo. I'm not right. gonna want to go. mess in with the menu options. Like who cares? That's so that's valid. If they force it on you, you might get better filtration in the future. Right. All right, so of course the, the big new additions, okay. the armor power ups, which you yes. have a stance that tells me you're excited for these things. Well okay. I was, <laughs> that was, I was action gonna ready. Go, I was gonna do the armor lock pose, which is do like it. you bend up. But then you're not gonna be able to see me behind the table. Well, you can, like, you can you can strafe. You can you can sidewalk. Can I go over here? And we could we could power lock. Okay. Our director hates this, but boom. Yeah. yeah. Power lock. That's it. Yeah. Um, but basically, what happens is it makes you impervious to mm -hmm. all damage, and then at the end, of course, there's only a short duration that it's going to last. I'm sorry. Right. Um, there it is. There it is. That he does it better than I do. Um, <laughs> Disagree wholeheartedly. And then at the end, you're going to have that uh, that uh, EMP burst, right. and that's going to take down people's shields. So but then obviously you're suddenly vulnerable again. So this works really well, like if you've got a buddy. Mm -hmm. Kind of watching your back, so maybe there's one guy who's focused on you, waiting for you to come out of your armor lock, and then you got your other buddy coming up coming behind, up behind you them. Yeah. yeah, I found on offensive, like if I were to power lock near a flag, everybody right. would focus their fire on me or right. wait for me, and then my buddies could run on in and, and right. do their damage. But of course, there's... But it's less it's less useful if you're kind of by yourself. Right, right, yeah, uh, which <laughs> is buddy to kind the of majority be... of my gaming sessions. Right. Uh, okay, and then so of course that's armor lock, and then the jetpack. Jet okay, it's something that people have been really excited about. Mm -hmm. Now. The jetpack at first, you're like, oh, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna fly into the air. Yeah. I and saw then, Rocket Man. This is gonna be cool. And then you turn it on and you're like, <laughs> okay. And I understand for balance issues. Right. Um, you can't have this awesome, super fast jetpack. Um, and you're also kind of a sitting duck in the air. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. you're definitely a sitting duck in the so air. So people just kind of pick you off. Mm -hmm. um, but it actually is a cool power. And on some maps, it's really, um, it's really. A and good then one. Camouflage, camouflage, which no one cares about. That's fine. No, so also, the beta <laughs> ends. The beta ends in two weeks. The yes. final version of the game doesn't come out till the fall. Right. So you're Bungie right now. Um, well, actually, if you're Bungie right now, you're focused on what you're doing for Activision, probably. But yeah. let's say you're Bungie right now. And I'm focused on this. And yeah, this is and the you're most focused on this, thing. and the Halo fans want it. What do yeah. they have to do to make this a must have game? Because right now, I feel like it's one of those look, if you like Halo, you'll, you'll probably it's, play it's, it a little bit. And... It's already going to be a must have game for Halo fans. They've got right. to come out with, with a pretty killer single player campaign, I think. Yeah, I'd agree. Um, to, to sort of make this a must have. I'd agree. All right, we'll have to wait and see. Morgan Webb, awesome. thank you so much for power locking thank on us. It's a pleasure. Now get in. The Halo Reach multiplayer beta ends on May 19th. So you got to get a key before it's too late. Don't, don't miss it. Don't miss it, kids. Miss Olivia, what's Hi. going on over yonder, there, where you are, right now? Hi.
Hi. Hey, Morgan. Hi. I really like I like your hair in a ponytail. Oh, thank you. It's really pretty. Olivia, say something you love about me. Say something you love about me. I love that Morgan's standing next to you. Oh, great. <laughs>